welcome to an Everyday Canines video. In this series on the Kennel Club Good Citizen Dog Scheme, Bronze Level, we're going to be looking at the various exercises you need to complete for this level. This is exercise one, cleanliness and identification. Now this is an exercise that doesn't necessarily need your dog to do much. It's more about you as the handler and your legal responsibilities in regards to your dog and your pet. And obviously these are going to be based on the UK law and may not be relevant to you if you're in a different country. So what does it mean? Let's start with um, cleanliness. It's the cleanliness part. You might think, well, it means my dog's got to be nicely groomed. That is actually not what it's about. The cleanliness part means that you can demonstrate that you carry a poo bag with you. So you need to demonstrate that you are able to clean up after your dog and you'll be informed and she'll be aware, made aware that if you don't clean up after your dog and these bags needed to be disposed of correctly in a correct bin, that doesn't mean, you know, leaving at the side of the road or, or um, hanging on a tree branch. And if you don't clean up properly after your dog, then you can be fined. The next part of this exercise is identification. Now there's two forms of identification that it's a legal requirement that your dog has in the UK. The first is a microchip. Now they should be, by law, they should be implanted when the dog is a puppy before it goes to a new home. That is the new legal requirement. So it's the breeder's responsibility to have the puppy microchipped. When that dog is then passed on to you and bought, or obviously if it's a rescue, if it's come through a rescue centre, then your responsibility to transfer the details from the original owner onto you to make sure they're updated so that if anything were to happen the dog was scanned for its microchip the details would lead back to you again it's a legal requirement to keep those updated in the actual test the requirements of the test state that the owner will use a microchip scanner to scan the dog and to prove it's got a microchip However, sometimes in tests, the examiner will do this or an assistant helping the examiner will do this. So it's just a case that they'll scan over the back. It's just sometimes you need to work with a dog. Some dogs don't like things over their heads. So if that's the case, you may need to have to just play. So for instance, you might have to have a box or something and just do this. And it says, you're rubbing me with a sausage box. I know. See, he doesn't worry. But you might have to do that because some dogs are nervous about that happening. Good boy. Sit. So you need to prove that it's not, the onus is not on the examiner to double check that that microchip is correct in the database. They just have to look and say, yes, your dog has one. The responsibility is upon you, obviously, to make sure your details are updated so that if anything happens, your dog could be returned to you. The next form of identification your dog is legally required to have is a tag on their collar, either a flat tag that goes across the band of the collar or loose tags that are engraved. And this is what you must have. So it has to have the owner's name, surname usually, but it has some means of saying the, the owner's name and your address. Depending on space, it might be enough to have um, the first line of the address and the postcode. It's just so that you, your address is on there. The name of the dog is not usually re is not required. And a lot of people say it's better not to have the name of the dog on there for dog theft reasons, but. The a phone number is not required. However, having a phone number on your tag is very useful. If your dog went missing, someone picked it up, they could then instantly ring you to, do, to tell you where your dog is. So though it's not a legal requirement and you wouldn't fail a test for not having it on there, it's kind of a thing that I always put on my tags because I think it makes sense. And if you've got more than one phone or more people that vote, definitely put both numbers on so someone can get in touch with you if they find your dog. So that's what you need to demonstrate and prove during that section of the test. And it is stuff that all dogs should have and it is a legal requirement and you can be fined for not doing these things. A microchip has to be had in any place. A microchip is just yeah, everywhere. Even if your dog's on private land, your dog has got to be microchipped. A collar, uh, identification disc on a collar, that is for public areas. If they're in your back garden, no, you don't need that. But obviously if they get out your back garden and they're in a public area, now they need to have tags on. So just these things to bear in mind. So that's how we're going to pass exercise one and straightforward, not much there for the dog to do other than stand there and look pretty. So I hope you've enjoyed this um, Everyday Canines video. And if you have, you might subscribe to the YouTube channel. You can click the bell icon and that will give you notifications of when new videos are coming out.
and you can also find us on Facebook and Instagram. And hope to see you all again very, very soon.